you won't make any money in crypto if you are the kind of person who does these things. If you've been buying Algorand, Gala, HBAR, Bitcoin, I don't really care what it is. It doesn't really matter what you're buying, but it's how you behave when you're buying it and when you're going to sell it that makes the difference between you making quite good money in crypto and you making no money and in fact losing basically everything. If you're new to crypto or you've been in it a while and you have one of these two issues, then it's essential that you watch this video to find out how you can overcome them and become a successful crypto investor. So do me a favor, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and let's get into today's video. So right now, every day in the Telegram group, I'm seeing people talking about various different things from Gala Token, HBAR, uh, Medicaid, all sorts of different cryptos. And what I see that is basically consistent throughout all of these different topics is pretty much the attitude towards what they're doing and how they're behaving. Now, we as humans have a monkey mind, and I've talked about this before on this channel. And the problem with that monkey mind is it is impulsive. And it does things in order for us to survive. If we get more things that are good, we get excited and they get hyped up. Or if something is bad and we start to lose something, we can also get this fear. And this stops us from acting as rational people. And you will only realize this once you have been completely destroyed and left with pretty much nothing at the end. So we're just going to jump in for this example and look at HBAR because I know HBAR is very popular. A lot of people are very interested in HBAR. I'm sure HBAR will probably do all right in this crypto market, although I don't really have much in the way of exposure recently. As we look into this four hour HBAR chart, you can see that obviously we have lows and ups. Uh, and different behaviors come out of us at different times of the market. This area down here would have been a nice time to be buying HBAR. And how do we know that? Well, we didn't. We only know that now, after it's pumped up higher, that that would have been a good place to buy at. So why were you not buying down here? I hear you ask. Well, if you were already in the market up here, you probably already buried your head in the sand and were hiding away. Why do we do this? Well, you know the feeling as well as I do of our portfolio decreasing in value. We value money quite highly and if it starts to decrease, instead of paying attention to it and acting rationally, we do something instead that's very, very stupid. We bury our heads in the sand. This is like a self-defense mechanism. It stops us feeling like that because if we don't know, then it can't hurt us. And that's one mentality where we move away from rationale. And that's a big issue. When the markets are moving down, we actually need to be paying attention. We need to know what's going on. It doesn't mean we act on impulse. We need to pay attention to what's happening in order to be able to make sound decisions and find a point at which we can enter the market again. On the flip side of things, and I think this is probably the biggest and most dangerous thing that people in crypto do, and I can see it in the Telegram group, which is linked down below and absolutely free, by the way, guys, if you want to get involved in that, please do. And it's this. When the markets start to have candles that look a bit like this one, we get FOMO. A FOMO is probably the most dangerous thing in crypto because we've not been paying attention for all this time because maybe we're down or maybe it's just boring, right? When crypto moves sideways, it's boring. How do I know it's boring? Well, because people stop watching my videos when the markets are moving sideways. People in the Telegram group are much quieter during sideways action. And that's when really you need to be paying attention. And if you start paying attention when everyone else isn't, you're going to make money in crypto. Simple as that. Because what everyone else does is they'll get a notification from CoinGecko or whatever it is and they'll see this and, and they'll be at work or something and then suddenly they'll get home and they buy HBAR here. Guess what happens after that? We then rip towards the downside and from that tip up there, if you are unfortunate enough to buy there, then you'll be looking at a 23% drop in just a couple of days and that can be quite painful. Uh, obviously after that we did kind of push higher but then you know, up and down a bit. But how do we avoid this problem? Well, number one rule. When you see massive spikes like this, Guys, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Do not FOMO in. If it carries on to a level and maybe we get all the way up here and it doesn't ever come back to that point, well, guess what? You missed out on that particular one. But obviously, at some point, it will stop and it will have to come back for a retest. And what we can do when it starts to top out and come back is we can identify areas that it might push from again. And this means that we can be much more controlled in our decision making. Now, how would we identify areas? Well, what you want to look for is where we've had these big pushes before. This big candle comes out of an area of consolidation. If we draw basically where this dip comes and then this push comes out of it, this big push up here is an indicator that this is where we want to be paying attention to. Then you can see that we do come back into this zone. Then we know that if it had arrived back in here, we've got a better chance to buy H bar. If H bar keeps going up, well, we wait for it to top up and then eventually we'll have a pullback. When it gets a pullback, then we can enter the market. Why is this better than entering even if 
H bar was pushing all the way up here and say it only ever pulled back to here and we missed out. Well guys, it's much better because your psychology is much cooler, calmer and collected and this is going to make you much better in the market. And it's not about whether you'd missed out on an extra 20% on H bar or whatever. It's about creating a mindset where you're going to be able to pull the trigger one way or the other every time without acting emotionally. And while that's beneficial guys, if I've been buying on the spike and it goes up to this level, then I've got 23%. But if I waited for my pullback, I've now got a potential back just to that level of another 79% that I wouldn't have had. So if you see when the markets are pumping like this, this is when you need to be much calmer and collected. And I know it's really, really difficult. Don't get me wrong, I've been in these markets before. What I'm gonna show you is a gala chart on the weekly from last couple of years. And this you can see was a nice sideways action. And guess what was happening during this time? Everyone was not looking at Gala. No one paid attention. A few people might have done, a few people might have done really well out of this. But because no one was paying attention, guess when most people buy Gala? I'll give you a clue. It's not down here, it's up here. And guess what happens to them when they do that? They get absolutely wrecked, right? Because instead of being paying attention during this quiet period of time, where they could have made in just a couple of weeks, like an 8X, instead, they go and buy up here, they ride it up here thinking they're going to get rich, does 20% up and guess what then it does? It drops down and it comes all the way down to the bottom, they bury their head in the sand and they lose their 94%. So it's as simple as this, to avoid acting impulsively you can do a number of different things. One, educate yourself in the first place on whether or not you want to invest in that cryptocurrency because of what it does, whether you understand the utility, uh, that kind of thing, right? You don't want to be investing just because you see hype and stuff about things on YouTube or in Telegram groups. Think hard about whether or not it's something you want to invest in. Then you'll have the confidence in that project knowing that there's a good potential that you'll see some good upside. Then, say we bought Gala at this current level down here, identify an area that I want to get out the market at. But I talked about this before in this video, how you can actually turn very small amounts of money into tons of money in cryptocurrency. And it's not just by buying Gala or HBAR, despite what you might have heard but it's taking money out of the markets at these levels. So here, let's say we get to Gala 6X, okay? 6X from this level on Gala, you could pull out $5,000, leave $1,000 for the top, and then you could invest in 50 projects for $100 each that have the potential to do 1,000X, where you can make $100,000 from one of those trades. So have a plan in place of that. Don't buy those big spikes, but when we get a push, Towards the upside, we're looking for it to come back down. It can go to a four hour chart and we can identify areas of the market. Here, for example, on Gala, you can see that we started to have, we had a pullback from this area and then we found a buy zone. You can see that this is a buy zone because we had an up, a down, and then a push. Uh, and then it came, and then down and then up again here. And you can draw a box all the way across here. And then you've got a nice buy zone for Gala. And guess what, guys? It's not perfect. Yes, it dips here. And touches but guess what we've got down here well it would have dipped all the way under our buy zone and if we bought in here then there was a point at which we would have been down something like 20 percent but that's very different from being down 49 percent and now you're back pretty much break even on that level uh, in fact you're set up about nine percent and then we get back up to that level you're 66 percent up so don't buy big green candles because because ultimately you get destroyed by big red ones straight after Wait to have pullbacks, don't FOMO in, and take profits as you're going up. Whatever you do, don't be this guy who buys down here, holds it all the way up here, holds it all the way here, and is literally just sat there with probably less than he even started with. If you start with $1,000 here, you could have then exited for $8,000. Now if you start with $8,000 down here, then you can exit for 160 grand. There's a very big difference. So don't just be stupid and just hold forever. And hear all these people telling you like diamond hands, and you're weak if you sell or whatever. It's just ridiculous, so stupid. Bringing machoism into like holding crypto. It's so lame and so stupid, but whatever. And if you want to buy coins like Gala and trade on a daily basis, then make sure you get into Fair Desk link down below. You can get super low fees and then you can buy and sell at different areas of the market for super low fees. You can get a bonus of up to $35,000, which is also enormous. And you can take part in copy trading where you can copy experienced traders where you can make money on a daily basis just by following them if they're profitable. Obviously, there is risks involved, so don't use money that you can't afford to lose. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Sorry about the background noise. Hope you have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.